Dear YouTube family, my sons, everyone who has ears to hear, I'm racing against time, three o'clock on the morning passed, and it turned into the 12th of October. I am going to make some bold statements up front, and as God permits, with the time, I go into details following that, because time is up. If what I'm stating is right, then today would be the day that the meteor shower begins, because the three days of darkness then would settle in by tomorrow and would last through 13, 14, 15, three days, two nights, and culminate in the event of the asteroid impact on the 16th and also the rescue of those who are who belong to God to Jesus Christ so if you are not saved yet it's not much reason for you to listen any further because it's not gonna do any good for you get saved it's very simple I have posted a a salvation prayer on this same channel. Please find it and say that prayer. And just trust God there is no other way because I only have that too. Nobody has any other option but to trust God. So, so far in this presentation at the sixth event, which are actually leading up to the seventh, opening of the seventh seal, in book of Revelation chapter 8, are the events which would take place from this day till the 16th evening and uh, that is only four days and they are very major very severe and very many i just received my daily bread which is a prophetic ministry sending out short messages but they are so accurate i can't wait to receive their message every morning and the lord knowing that he always speaks to me through that so yes, he said this morning, just to get um, our sandals loose, or you know, that Israelites were ready to go, so they were not going to bed, they were just ready to flee any moment, and that he, I will get my assignment person to person, that means we're going to be out on the street, walking on faith and helping other people, so yes, this is happening, and, uh, and, and even if, let me say this, the reason why I believe with, with almost 100% surety, I believe in 100% surety, the almost part is that the mind is enmity to God. But I believe because what I'm saying to you is what God says. So faith is only believing what God says. It has nothing to do with me. I'm all, only repeating the, the facts, the prophecies, the biblical prophecies, what the Lord told us to prepare us for such a time as this. Judgment is not cancelled. The day of the Lord is not cancelled. The rapture is not cancelled. Now the only time I can imagine could happen is when, when all prophecies would fulfill is on the 16th. So, again, even if it wouldn't happen, and it will happen, but understand this, Treasure every word you hear in your heart because it is coming. It is not so that you cast it aside and oh, she was wrong. I can only say what God said and without that I'm nothing. So if he is wrong, I'm wrong. If these prophecies are not correct, then I'm not correct. It doesn't matter. It will happen. So let's stop unbelief and doubt and everything else. And just do the right thing. And the right thing is that we communicate with God and we turn our hearts to Him and trust Him through these difficult days, knowing that it's coming. So having said that, so far we understood that first an earthquake, then the meteor shower, followed by three days of darkness leading up to the asteroid impact, in which situation the Lord will rescue his own and it will be a very terrible worldwide devastation because um, 
I can't even say more about that. It would be very much to say. So that would be in the presentation. I don't want to go into details that into that before I could close this message so I could post it online because truly the technical processes of making a video and the audio and, and the slides, it is very time consuming and there is only one way to overcome is to get it done. And I cannot do more as far as stretching myself to um, to keep up with time. So I'm sorry, I have a lot of more messages. So if I have the time, I will post more, check back with it. If not, then understand when it happens, when it starts happening, this is the schedule. The three days of darkness. That is a very serious time. You must not leave your home. Have enough candles at home. Electric devices most likely will all discharge and will be useless. These meteors, the fiery rocks will go through the windows. So just prepare for the worst and pray for the best. And, and just know that um, God is with you if you ask him. And that the Lord God Almighty, Father God and Lord Jesus, they made a plan to visit every soul on earth during these three days of darkness. That is going to be your very last opportunity to turn to the Lord and to get saved before it's really too late. Because if you are left behind, that will toss you, throw you into the great tribulation of unprecedented evil. That is coming up on the earth. Chapter 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Okay, I need to interrupt my own presentation to make a comment here. Because of the urgency, you know, I made this video that wasn't in my plan. So as I'm putting together, I got the idea to put on the screen something about the three days of darkness so that you would better understand how serious that is. And I remember there are signs. And so as I read these signs afresh, then I see that these signs I hardly can fulfill in this day so that by tomorrow the darkness would settle in. See, bringing the information to you that I'm bringing, trying to pinpoint when the rapture, when the devastation is coming, so that we can be prepared really it's for, for our uh, signposts, because we, we just grasp, grasp in the darkness. If we don't know nothing, if there is no reference, and we've been waiting for years after years, 
then we can just go and be about it like, well, I waited for 10 years. I don't know when it's coming, but no, the Lord says now is my coming. He said specifically now, which means in October. And the decree went out for the day of the Lord, which means now I'm bringing it forth. And so everything is lining up and all, like I said, all the prophecies and all the scriptures are falling in place as I made that, um, I, as I received that breakthrough from the Lord yesterday. But as I was watching these signs and I, I had that thought that this cannot be, that all these signs would come to pass in one day. But these events will be very fast and it will come suddenly. Like I already explained, scripture says sudden destruction comes when nobody accepts it, expect it. Sudden destruction comes when nobody expects it. So it will not lead up through many days. It will be just bang, the meteor shower is here. But then there are these signs that the Lord says to watch for. And that can be, I mean, did you watch the skies if there is night skies? Because I have seen red in the skies and I was amazed the other night how beautiful the sky is and how red it is. I was even noting that, well, I never seen something like this, but I didn't remember that this is a sign what the Lord said to watch for. Of course, we are not going to see the same skies over here in the city than we would see out in, in the, uh, you know, in the wilderness or, or wherever. I don't know. I never seen so colorful sky. But it was red. The whole horizon was red. And I really was amazed how beautiful it is as I was walking with the dogs and was not thinking that this is a sign. So there might be signs we are not noticing, my point is, and might be signs what we are going to, but unless we remember what to look for, and unless we look for it, it's not going to happen. So when I come to you with these messages, it's because I seek. The Lord says, seek, and you shall find, and knock, and it will be given to you. Because see, he will not just come to us and intrude us with a revelation without we are ready to receive it because it would destroy our souls. Yes, if the Lord would just whisper into you, tomorrow you're going to die <laughs> or something like that. So he cannot do that. He can only say the things we want to know. So we search and even then, oftentimes what he is doing that he leads us even to find a question so that he can give us the answer. So as I'm seeking these events, trying to line up all the you know all the revelations and information that was given to us now i came to the place that i questioned the day now that i questioned the day he immediately opened my mind to this question how long until we see a full moon to be a, a round looking moon because these th that information that the rapture will be at the full moon was in forms of dreams, not to just one person more, but they have seen it in a dream. Now, maybe that the full moon will look like a full moon the day after and the day after. I don't know, but I went online and looked it up because I felt this is a very important piece of information. I have not thought before because the problem needs to present itself before I have that question. So the problem came by looking at the signs for the three days of darkness and um, and then I find out that, I put it on the screen for you, that October 16 is 100% visible moon, October 17 is 98% and October 18 is 92% and then on the 19 it drops up to 85% which is still relatively round but you can see a little bit missing. But at the 92 and 98 percent, it looks, especially when you are in going upward in a meteor shower, which is what experience was in a dream, then just take a glance at the moon might be for you a full moon and it's only 98 percent or only 92 percent. And look at the screen. It is so that I could not tell, even in peacetime, what day it is, just if it's supposed to be a full moon. I could not tell, oh, this is past, this was yesterday or the day before, because now it's not so around. I'm not that good at this star bodies at all. So see the point I'm making that, yes, that stretches our time from the 16 to the 17 and 18, and that still fulfill all prophecy that the Lord is coming during the Feast of Tabernacle, and so it gives us a little leeway. Now, the 
only thing I think is contradict is the three days of darkness. If we want to see that fulfilled, that the three days of darkness coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But I remember clearly that the Lord said that it will settle in by Thursday. So what if the darkness stretching out to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is still clearing up? Surely it will not be just all of a sudden disappearing. So that gives us an extra day. And he didn't say that the rapture and the, and the impact will be in a darkness. So that gives us another extra day for, um, for the possibility that the asteroid would not hit the earth on the 16th, but maybe on the 18th. And then the rapture takes place and it still looks like a full moon. So, and that would give us a little bit of leeway with these, you know, with the starting of, starting of the meteor shower, which would be a tremendous blessing. Honestly, I've been so busy and trying to do my best to in, keep you informed. Now I feel responsible doing that because it is in my heart to do it, but also I cannot, you know, just stop. And I'm not prepared at all. I mean, the only preparation I have is that I trust you, Lord, and that's enough, really. That's the most we can do. I trust him. We bought a little bit of crackers, but we don't have to always eat, so that's okay. And the rest will just be such an experience that really how to prepare for that, especially with the animals in the house for three days, cannot go out. That is a serious issue. But understand that the three days of darkness is very, very severe. And there's a lot of demonic activity also is foretold. So do not look out on the window and do not open the door for anything. People cannot get to your door and the demons will imitate the voices of people to stir up their emotions and open the door. And that, that's what they want. They want to come into the house. And the Lord, just like in the screen you have seen, the Lord will open up the eye of the people to the spirit realm for that time so that they would really see the reality of the devils because most people don't believe in that. Not even God, not even Satan, right? So that will be a very much of a blessing for all of us to see what's going on. And then comes the visitation of, of the Lord. So we are on the right track. And and I'm glad this came up because otherwise now we are having a little bit of a couple of days here and there. And that will, that will give us peace knowing that, yes, it is still happening. It's just now, let me, let me think of it. What else should I do right now to get this, to get my dogs in a row before this happens so I go you know I go back to the message because I stopped here cut the message into half made this recording and now we go back to the end of the message which I already recorded early I'm talking about the word on those people who will not enter the kingdom now so the only goal we have is to enter the kingdom now the way it is to accept Jesus Christ into our hearts and purify ourselves before him surrender to him because yes this is actually standing before him for judgment he will decide from every for every one of us if he allows us to enter his kingdom or not of course everything is from god grace and faith is a gift from god so if you have the faith to step through the door when it's presented to you you will enter but I guarantee to you, if you are not in the right relationship with the Lord, you will not have the faith gathered together to enter into this, through that spiritual door that will come before you. Again, that's another message. We just don't have enough time to go through it. Just understand God has a plan and he will carry it out. And your part is to believe. Believe what he says and act accordingly. And be willing to serve him because that you understand he is good and his kingdom is glorious and we want to enter and be accepted and then do everything according to the kingdom living. So we are not carrying in the field of the word, the, the evil of the word. We are willing to let it go because it's no fun at all that is going up in the word. We are deceived, the word is deceived, people are deceived, the value system is totally messed up for evil, for good, good for evil, darkness for light, and light for darkness, and they cannot tell the difference. But you be different, and now hear me, and give your life to Christ, and then we take it from there. We are going to build a glorious kingdom for the next thousand years, so truly, it will be what we make, uh, make out of it. Now, if you do not believe the word of God, because you are, your mind is so much enmity to God, as most people who are uh, not saved are, because that's just 
how it is. That's what means being an overcomer that we finally rebuke that mind to always contradict the word of God. Then then you may have heard messages from the Zeta Reticuli. Those other ones are hoping to come here now and preparing to come here to, to bring their hybrids and to to take a root in this earth. So because for many reasons they have a website up for 50 years or I don't know um, how long, but decades talking about this very event. They prepared for this and do all those abductions but over a million people they have abducted and made, took, you know, forcefully and, and um, tried to do reproduction with them. So there are many nasty things going on in the universe too. So these are not benevolent beings. They, they present themselves like they would be the angel of light, but they are not. But maybe those we want to believe because the people eat that up. About the aliens, there is a... You know, everywhere you click on the internet is now about aliens. There are a lot of benevolent sons of God, ex extended masters, those who passed from this earth into eternity or whatever, angels and many, many other communicators helping us to understand what it means, the coming times and to entering the kingdom. The Pleiadians, they done a lot of work to enlighten the earth and to help this ascension process. So they have delivered the same message that will happen to our earth. They have many prophecies online when they are talking about the coming changes and on and on. So Almighty God is not the only source. If you have other faith, I mean, if you have more faith in a creature than in the creator, then um, listen to the creatures. But then make sure that you listen to the right ones because amongst them there are a lot of lions. So in order for you to have spiritual discernment and to know the truth, you need to have the Holy Spirit guiding you and have a relationship with God so that he would be able to talk to you. So any way you turn, you need the Lord. And then that doesn't mean that you don't have relationship with the creation because we have plenty of us here on earth and we need to build and unite and build a kingdom. And there are about 200,000 different alien species in the local universe. So by the time we get to know a few, we're going to be very overwhelmed with the amount of information coming to us. So in other words, let's not try to be smart and let's not try to um, reason. It makes no sense in this situation when the Lord is saying to us, be ready to pick up your stumble and your staff. And, and go in a moment time when I tell you and trust me for protection and for security. So that, again, for me is a very clear message saying that, yes, it's about to happen and prepare yourself. Okay, um, this wasn't my plan because I have a beautiful presentation prepared. Many messages already recorded and the slides are up. All I would need to do is put them together, but God forbid, Looks like I will not be able to do that because if again the darkness settles in tomorrow, which is a prophecy, a hundred year of prophecy, that the three days of darkness will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and settle in by Thursday, that means likely the meteor shower would start today. If not, then it will start another day, but it will come. That Austin is coming. So people. Love you all. And then we continue from there because this is only the beginning and not the end. It's the end for the world system and it's going to be very ugly. But for us, it's the beginning to do something glorious. God bless you all. And please check back with this channel because I, if I still can, I will continue with the messages. God bless you.